Hey guys, welcome to Logical Humor. Today we are gonna uh, discuss the difference between the get type method and the type of operator. So the difference, so the main difference is that that I have already uh, uh, told that uh, get type is a method and type of is an operator. But they both uh, return the type. Okay, it could be the type of a class. It could be the type of an interface, delegate, or struct structure, and uh, they both work on the name of a type or type parameter. So type uh, type is like uh, like we create a customer class, like you know user de uh, defined class. So so that is type. What is this uh, type parameter? Type parameter is the concept used in generics. So suppose that in uh, we are creating a list of uh, this. Let's say int. Okay, so this is equal to new uh, list int. So here, yeah, this uh, uh, okay, no. this. Okay, so there is int here. It is the type parameter, but it is basically it is a type only. Okay. And they return the type of class interface delegate or struct like class uh, this uh, customer if we create a customer class it will be a customer struct this int int is a struct basically yeah here here you can see int is a struct could be a delegate or an interface anything that type it returns the type okay <coughs> So let's uh, remove this. And uh, this get type uh, method, it is a method, but it is also of two types. It could, it is static also, and it is uh, this instance also. So the static method is present in this uh, type class, okay? And uh, like because we are using the class name to uh, call it, so it is a static method, and it takes the fully qualified name of the type with namespace so guys this uh, in uh, 32 uh, this uh, struct type is present in this uh, system namespace so we need to provide the fully qualified name because if we do not provide then it will throw an error okay so let's just uh, check here see j we are just passing in 32 and if we try to run it It will throw an error that null reference exception was handled. Okay, because uh, see the error appear only after we change it. Because if we try to revert back the change that we made, and then when we try to run it, it runs successfully. There is there is no error. Okay. And uh, as you can see, this uh, it is runtime execution because this is a string, so the string will be compiled properly at compile time. Only and on runtime it will throw an exception because say that if we uh, means uh, if we uh, uh, means uh, make a mistake in the string. Okay, this is in debugging. So let's stop debugging. So this in 32 if we uh, make a typo. Spelling error so in th uh, 3 2 1. So when we try to build it, the build succeeded because this is a string. But when we try to run it, it will throw an error like this. Okay, so let's just stop the uh, debugging and remove this and then try to run it. run successfully okay. so it return the type uh, of int and then when we we are uh, we are just uh, printing it to the uh, net on the browser using this respond dot write and this in 32 as you see and now the second uh, method is uh, it is an uh, instance method and it is present in the class object and uh, since all the classes, all the structs, every 
thing they derive from this uh, object class so it this method get type method will be present in string also and it, since it is an instance method we are using this uh, this st this string uh, object to call it and it also uh, returns a type and then when we take it so since this is a string so it comes out as string here. so we see that a get type is a method it is uh, both static and uh, instance and this type of this is an operator and it o operates on only the type it does not uh, operate on the uh, <coughs> on this uh, object so if we try to call this stop the reading if we try to call it on this str the, which is an object then it will throw an error because it it is it is compile time execution on so on compile time only when we try to build it it will throw an error so guys in my opinion i would say that use this get type or this anything means we can use either of the three as and when the requirement so let's just undo the changes here. so guys I hope this video was helpful to you please like comment and subscribe uh, and give me your opinion what you thought about the video so till then uh, a very uh, happy new year ahead this is 2017 so guys thank you have a nice day bye